I'm finally going to be able to add a second live stream to this YouTube channel. This is Dion, co-pioneers, and behind me is the animation from the video that I did, Midnight Coding in Chicago. So now, ever since I did this video and started the live stream on the channel, I always wanted to have a 24 seven live stream of this animation here, this exact scene on the balcony, but I kept running into the same roadblock uh, with the animator, which is uh, he could not find a daytime image of the Chicago skyline with this exact angle of these buildings here on the Chicago skyline. And so the closest that we could get to it was uh, this video that I did that that's called Sunset Coding in Chicago. It's actually a series of videos. They're shorter uh, than the longer mixes. It's, it's just one song and it's just encouraged screen, taking screen breaks. You're working on a computer all day. Um, but for, the, for months, this was as far as, as we could get. And so finally, I found this exact uh, scene at this kind of the exact angle. And now we have the daytime um, animation of this uh, video here. And so now I'm going to piece all of these together and, and make a second 24 seven live stream using this animation. So this was not easy. Even after I found the picture, there was still work that I had to do on my end before I sent it to the animator. So let me show you what I had to do in Photoshop to get this to line up perfectly so that I could just send it to the animator and not get any more pushback from them here. So there's Photoshop here. And this is just a screenshot of the midnight coding video. This is what I use for the, the thumbnail on YouTube. And let me see here. Let me find, let me find that image that I had to uh, download. I ended up finding this image on Adobe stock. And so there's the image there. And the way that I knew this image was going to work is um, the space between the Willis Tower and this building right to the left of it had an extremely small gap. So I knew this was going to work because every other angle, the gap between these two buildings were like really far apart. Um, it was just it was difficult. So. Now, let me move myself over so you can see what I had to do here. Um, because right here on the bottom right part of the screen is the opacity. So I'm going to change this picture to you know, like 40. Yeah, 40% 40 or something like that is good. I'll move that back there. So so now I can lay this image. Uh, right on top of the other one and just start uh, grabbing the corners here and and I just want to grab and make it big and and now I can just start moving it right on top um, because I want to give him I want to give him this image exactly the way I want it <laughs> to overlay this I don't want I don't want any problems. I didn't want them coming back saying, oh, well, it's still a little off. No, I just wanted this to be like done. You know, no questions asked. You know, I've been waiting months already. I don't want to wait another <laughs> second for this. So you see, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally just grabbing corners and I'm just moving it around and lining this stuff up. And it's, it was it was a challenge because um, let me grab the side again over here. So see how it's pretty much lined up. Now I'm going. I'm, 
gonna bring the opacity back up here and let me double click this so it can just save in place and you see it's pretty much it's pretty much good to go there was a couple other things that i had to do though that i'll, I'll show you that um we go to transform and this yeah distort so let me show you what I mean. I'm going to move myself back over here and I need to change the opacity again. So you can kind of see what I mean. And let me zoom in there because, you know, we're very detailed with this stuff. So you see how um, right here, this little chimney pipe or whatever that is is the same as this it's just one is at in a daytime and one is at night so that's where the distort tool kind of i could move this around without scaling the whole image and just get it really perfect on, on top of that so that um so that you know, no matter who's looking or every every single crevice and every single corner of every building is going to line up perfectly. So that was the distort tool inside of Photoshop that um, that did that. So so once I I played around with it enough, um, I sent this to the animator, the, the finished image. Uh, let me put the opacity back up on this image here. So I sent this to the animator and basically he gave me the animation here. So man, I'm just excited because I've been waiting months to get this done. It's still going to take a few weeks to get the live stream set up. The, the server has to be set up. Um, all the music has to be put onto that server. Um, I got to figure out what I'm going to name this live stream. <laughs> uh, I have to set up the text, you know, to show the, the songs that's playing. I got to figure out how, what type of, am I going to have the same bots on this live stream? So there's a lot of little details to, to still be worked out. Uh, you know, I might just mimic the same settings on the first live stream. But, you know, you know how you're always looking to improve. So, you know, that, that that's going to be uh, that's what's going to take it a little bit longer. So a few weeks, hopefully it'll be done. But uh, this is the first sneak peek of it. And um, let me know if you have any questions about um, the animation part, Photoshop, setting up the live stream comment down below do you think i should even be worrying about putting up a second live stream have you been thinking up about putting up a second one and if so you know how are you gonna do that <laughs> but let me know in the comments and also you can uh hit me up in the discord server um, we got about 700 members right now so it's growing pretty good so i will see you in the next video and in the first and possibly second 24-7 live stream chat.